Hey guys, welcome back to lesson number four. This week we're going to be discussing family signs and how to ask them about their name. So please make sure that you are subscribing to my YouTube channel if you want to learn more ASL. Here we go. All right, so again, we're going to be um, discussing about family signs um, and how to ask them about their name. So, but first I want to let you know about my name. My name is Travis Belmontis Merrill. Um, please again make sure that you are subscribing to my YouTube channel for more up-to-date lessons and every week I will be posting new vocabulary videos for you all. So let's go ahead and get started. So the learning objective we're going to be learning about the gender distinction, where we place them, all that, family signs, asking how the family members their name, and lastly, we're going to add on some additional family signs for you all that want to know how to sign other family members' names or signs as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have gender distinction, which means we have in ASL a way to separate from male signs and female signs. So first we sign male with the five handshake, first on your forehead, and then it goes down to your mid region of your chest. So male, and then female, same handshake but different location, first on your chin, and it goes down to your mid region as well again. So female. So let's do that again. So male and female. So we separate these because the male region starts from the forehead and it goes about mid region through your face. Okay? And a female starts from mid region down to the chin or right just below the chin region. So we have these separations to help us identify what signs we are signing when we are talking about family signs or if we are describing a person themselves. So again, if you see the picture that I have right here posted on uh, my PowerPoint, you can see that the difference between a male and a female with the dotted line to help you understand a little bit more clear. So again, male and female. So if you want to pause it now to kind of practice those two signs real quick and then continue when you are ready. When we are going now on to is the actual family sign. So I'm going to move my little, uh, not my PowerPoint, let me move my little video over just a little bit so that you can see it a little bit more clear. So we have a picture of a family right here that I found off of uh, Google itself. So we're going to go ahead and start with the family signs itself. So we got grandpa, you're going to make the five hand shape. And then you're going to kind of bounce it off your forehead a little bit. So grandpa, and you can do it two times. Um, I've seen it even do it three times. Um, so grandpa and grandma down on the chin. So remember the male signs up here and the female down here. So grandpa, grandma. So let me show you what it looks like from the side. So grandpa, grandpa, and grandma. Grandma. Good. Now there is another sign that you can choose for grandpa and grandma. So it's with both hands. So kind of do five. One off the other. Grandpa. Grandma. So I've seen both ways. It's correct. There's not a wrong or a right way right now. Um, it's just a different type of variation around the U.S. So let's go ahead now and start with mom. More famous signs. So mom. So we have again the same handshake. Going on the chin. Mom. And you're going to kind of tap it. And it's just like this. Mom. Good. Now dad, same sign. But on the forehead. Dad. Dad. Again, you don't have to tap it like crazy. Just kind of lightly tap it. So mom and dad. Now we have brother and sister. So you're going to make the L shape. You're going to make the L shape in both hands. And your dominant hand is going to be the one that touches the distinction gender sign area. So if we're going to do brother, your brother's going to start up top because it's the male region, right? And then you're going to have your non-dominant hand down below. And then you're going to bring them down like this. Brother. Let's look from the side. Brother. Brother. Now we're going to do some sister. So again, same handshape, but now it's in the female region. 
So it's in the chin and break down. Sift it. Sideways. Sift it. Sift it. Good job. Now you go ahead and practice those uh, signs that we have just learned about family signs. So grandpa, again. Grandma. Mom. Dad. Brother. Brother. Sister. Sister. Good. Now if you want to pause it right now before continuing to practice, go ahead and pause and when you're ready, go ahead and continue. But we're going to go ahead and continue so that we can start learning about how to ask about their name. So let's go ahead and continue. So asking a family member what is their name, so I'm going to move my screen just over just one more time. Okay. Um, I will show you with a little small screen right now, but then when I'm ready, I will make it full screen so that you can see how the signs look more clear. Okay, so we're asking family members their name. So in English, we have, what is your mom's name? So now we're going to translate that to ASL. So we're going to start with mom, your, so a flat hand going towards them, your name, what? So you're asking them. What is your mom's name? So mom, your name, name is with the H's and you're going to kind of tap them. And then what? Kind of shaking your hand. So look from the side. So mom, your name, what? Good. Now practice that real quick before moving on to the next English sentence. Okay. Now let's go ahead and continue. If you have popped it and you were practicing your mom's name, what? Now we're going to be practicing the English for what is your brother's name. So let's go ahead and continue with that. So again, brother. So you make an L shape. Start from the male region up top on the forehead. Break down. Brother. Your. Flat hand again. Name. What? So brother. Your. Name. What? So from the side. Brother. Your. Name. What? Good job. Now they will respond with my mom name and then they were finger spell the name. So again it's my mom name and then they were finger spell. If it's a brother, they would say brother my name what and then they can finger spell. So again, practice these uh, asking how different family members names uh, many times if you feel that you are comfortable with signing their or asking that question. Remember with the WH questions, we want our eyebrows down. So when you finish your sentence, your eyebrows should be down for the what? Because you're asking them a question. Okay? Alright, so now I'm going to make it full screen so you can see what it looks like full screen. So here we go. Good, so I just demonstrated both of those sentences. Now I'm going to give you one as a practice to see if you understand what the sign word of the family and what I'm asking. Here we go. I'm going to ask one more time. I'm going to wait a few seconds, see if you want to pause and to play back. I'm going to give you the answer of what the sentence that I find. The answer for the sentence that I find is, Grandpa, your name, what? So what is your grandpa's name? That is what the sentence I find. Good job. Now let's continue on to our lecture of the next section. Now we're going to add on additional family member signs. So I'm going to kind of scoot this over just a little bit down here so that you can see. Alrighty, so we have additional family member signs. So here we go. We have uncle. We're going to make a U. You're going to have it up in the male region, up by your forehead, and you're going to kind of twist it. Kind of like a small little twist. Again, I'll show you in a small screen and then again on a bigger screen. So uncle, 
aunt with an A down by your chin area, by your jawline, aunt, cousin. So there are three ways to sign cousin. So we're going to do the neutral meaning, like if in general you want to define your cousin, it starts in the middle section, right in that dotted line area, and you're just going to kind of do a little twisting of your hand, a little twist. Cousin. If it's a male, you're going to move it up top, up in the male region. Male, cousin. If it's a female cousin, it's down here by the chin. <coughs> female. So again, mid-region. Up top, or female cousin. Good. Now we're going to do nephew. Nephew with an N, so you're going to make an N hand shape. Your thumb is in between your middle finger and your ring finger of your dominant hand. And you're going to bring it up by, by your head, forehead, because it's a male. And you're going to do the same thing, same motion as uncle, so nephew. Niece, again, same hand shape at the end, and it's down by the jawline, niece. Niece. Now we're going to start with step. So there are many different ways and variations of signing step, like a step mom, step dad. So I'm going to show you two ways that I have. The first way, I would finger spell step mom. Finger spell step dad. Step grandma. Okay, whichever you want to choose. The other option is kind of like a motion like this. So you make an L. So step mom. Step dad. Okay? So now I'm going to show you full screen of what all these signs look like so that you can see it a little bit more clear. So again, we're going to go with uncle. Make a U. Uncle. Aunt. Make an A. Aunt. Cousin. The three ways. Again, neutral. In the middle. Male. Up top. And female down below. So, neutral male cousin, and female cousin. Nephew, again, you're making an N, just like this. Up top, nephew. Knee, same handshake, but now down by the jawline in the female distinction area. Knee. Step parent, again, the two options are, you can finger spell, step mom, or step dad. Or the other option is, step mom, step dad. Good job. Now practice this. Pause the video if you feel that you need more practice. Pause it. And when you're ready, I will see you at the very end. Now for those who are continuing, I'm going to go ahead and end this now. So thank you for all for coming for lesson number four this week. I hope that you learned a lot about your family signs. Please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on my uh, newest release every week of lessons and daily vocabulary. Um, thank you for all for coming and watching. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below in my comment section. I love you all and have a great day, guys.